In the conventional world of Newtonian science, uh, time and space were direct readouts, that time was a continuously moving process and that you're either at this time or you're at this time or you're at this time. When the world of quantum mechanics evolved, it started to recognize that time was actually just a conscious expression, that according to the world of quantum mechanics, there is no time. Everything is at the moment of now. The past, the present, and the future are all here right now. It is not linear. No, it's not linear. <laughs> so the issues are, can the past and the future be influenced by each other? Well, the question is, are we in the past, are we in the present, or are we in the future at this very moment? And I bring that up not, not to make a joke, but to make a serious biological statement. From the way we live in our consciousness, can you distinguish a conscious manifestation versus a real manifestation? Did I just create something in my head, or was that actually real, what I just saw? Biologically, you'll never know the difference. We could all be sitting here right now, but we're actually, this is a long time ago. We're not even here right now. This isn't even the real moment. How do I know it's real? Well, I see it, and I feel it, and I smell it, and I touch it. I go, yeah, go to sleep. And in your dream state, your biology will be activated by your brain. Your sensory nervous system will experience what you've already done before. And to your sleep state, can you tell if it was a real state or a dream state? Not in your sleep. Well, then how do you know if the real state you're in right now is the real state or the dream state? Well, dreams, they feel real while we're in them, right? It's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange. Ah, the conundrum of quantum physics. We don't know where we are. We're having to pick this probable moment and be in this probable moment at the same time. Yet, according to quantum mechanics, we could have other probable instantaneous moments right now where we're not even in this reality, we're in another reality. An alternate reality. Precisely. Which reality are we in? You say, well, it's the one I'm biologically sensing, and I'm going, biologically sensing in your dream? or biologically sensing in real life? The answer is you can't tell. And that's the most exciting part because it really leaves open an understanding how we could go back and change the past. Or at the current moment, we can change the future. Because is this the current moment or not? Marty, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. All of a sudden it says, oh my goodness, the whole conventional world of everything was so ordered and regimented and understood seems to disappear in a quantum mechanical reality. Are you watching this now? Or did you watch this last year and just reviewing it now? Can't tell, can you? Well, the relevance is, welcome to the world of quantum weirdness. And yet it's so important because in that reality, it does say, yes, you can go back in the past and change the future. And all of a sudden it says, ah, more creativity. We can do more than just follow our noses into the next minute. We can rewrite the whole story again and again and again.